I have to give Warner Brothers credit, by the way. The marketing for this film has been incredible. Um, the the trailers, the TV spots, which flood television in the States, have been really amazing to the point that I saw the film um, several weeks ago. Didn't like it very much, and yet I still look at those TV spots and think, wow, that looks like a good movie. Um, you know, it's the, the trouble with it is it's an interesting story. Bradley Hooper is very good in it, kind of putting on his little southern drawl and balked up to all hell, like, Jesus, dude pulled a Chris Pratt, except he was in shape to begin with. Um, it's just very flat. Um, it, you know, you go to Iraq, and then it cuts back to the home life, and you go to Iraq, and it cuts back to the home life, just back and forth, back and forth for two hours, and it, it never feels like it's building to anything. It doesn't feel like there's any real through line. It's just scene after scene after scene. Eastwood never really builds much in the way of suspense. The dramatic scenes at the home life are very stale, um, and it has what is easily the worst rubber baby you'll ever see on screen. Uh, I, I felt so bad watching it. Just it, I, I, I genuinely can't understand. There's a baby that looks like something your little sister would have had when she was six years old. And they try to play it off as a newborn infant. Um, yeah, again, just, I feel bad kicking off the positivity segment, the, the happy new movie moment by saying, yeah, I felt American Snyder was just very middle of the road, uh, very uninspired. It felt like everyone was just sort of mailing it in. On the plus side, you've just done the honest trailer for it. Iraq, home life, Iraq, <laughs> home life, Iraq. <laughs> well, you saved me you know, a couple you know, of books. And, and when they do that, they can pay me. Uh, you know, Phil, you have my contact information. Yes. So if they want to send me a check, fantastic. Absolutely. Fantastic. Well, I mean, certainly it was coming out in the UK in a couple of weeks. Has it opened in the States yet? It's, uh, it's open very limited, limited in the States. Yeah. I believe it comes out the 16th. It's going to be release. huge. It's going to be huge in the States. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I think, again, the marketing has been incredible. I uh, I was telling Jamie, I think it's going to break the January box office opening record. Wow. Last year, last year, Lone Survivor was a big hit in part because there was nothing else out. I, I, I also because, hey, it looked interesting. I still haven't seen Lone, I haven't seen Lone Survivor. But, yeah, exactly. America! But, um... Yeah, I think it's going to be a big hit, actually. Big hit. This might be... Uh, I, I, I I imagine this is going to be Eastwood's first $100 million hit since um, Gran Torino. Oh, yeah, this is clearly going to... If this doesn't break 100 I, I will be flabbergasted. Domestically. Again, I, I expect it... The January record is something like $40 million. I think this will beat it. So if it opens above that, it's clearly breaking 100 Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, again, it's, just, it's disappointing because the marketing has been so good. Um, and clearly Cooper's giving it his all. I mean, Cooper is acting his ass off in it, but the whole film is just, just feels very, very. There, that's a that's a dude who I, I I gotta say I have a lot of respect for because you know he's the one who came out of the the Hangover success and everyone talked about like boy he's the breakout star and I, I think the first Hangover is very funny it's a really good movie but he's he he's the one of the of the three lead guys he's the one who stands out the least and I never understood how people came to that conclusion that he's the breakout of course it came down to he's the prettiest so I like him more than breakout. Holmes. In the Hangover, I thought. See, I thought at least Helms was more memorable. I'm not. I'm not knocking Cooper because he's the straight man in the group, and he was well, good see, at here's that. The, here's but, the thing about Cooper. Remember when Cooper was just the dick from Wedding Crashers? That's right. That's <laughs> the thing. He's the guy's got versatility. Like people yeah. remember that. But my point being is, like, I, I the guy. Um, he was in he Wet Hot American that. Summer as the prissy theater director. I seem <laughs> to remember. Right. He was taken on one end, and uh, Michael Ian Black was uh, was given it. Oh, that's right, yes. That's Which, right. to this day, I hope that when he dies, that will be the clip they use in his in memoriam. That's great, Not... Jamie. Thank you. Yeah, that's, that's very positive, Jamie. It's, it, that's a great performance. That's a guy I have a lot of respect for, don't forget. Those were Jamie's words. Just two minutes no, but, previous. I, I, I... <laughs> Not even. I just totally turned on the guy. No, what I mean is though that the guy absolutely took this. Uh, he took this uh, success and ran with it, and he's done nothing but smart choices. I mean, I think that was like that one movie he did with um, what was that movie with um, uh, the, the, some weird movie with Tom Arnold he had came out recently that just got, that got dumped and you know you know what movie I'm talking about? No. Uh, are you Is sure it... this wasn't a movie you thought of and enjoyed? <laughs> Big Bully <laughs> Two. <laughs> <laughs> the Revenge. Yes. Um, the no, first no. movie is about revenge. How could a second one be called The Revenge? That's the most retarded. You people more what they loved about the first one. People no loved one loved the first one. No one even I remembers never, the first I never, one. I never saw the first one. I, I haven't thought about that movie since 1993. Yeah. I, we got to be the first podcast to make a Big Bully sequel joke. <laughs> Take that. I, 
<laughs> Take that collider. Right. Well, I th- I guess we'll move on. Ooh, I, I hope like Steve's not. I hope Steve's not listening. I'm teasing. I'm teasing. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, we love you, Steve. Oh yeah, absolutely, cool guy. But my point being is that like you know, Cooper's really um, done some real major strides with his career, and he's. It's kind of um, it's it's like fucking. It really is like DiCaprio after he broke out when Titanic. Like the dude just made smart choices, and he's like not just going to do anything. Like he's going to work with really good directors, and you know, this guy's got the long. He, he's clearly thinking long term with his career, and I didn't really think that was going to happen after um, Hangover. I thought like he'd get a couple of big big films, and it would kind of fizzle out. So, you know, all props to him. Of course. <laughs> 